What's up guys? So yesterday's video was a little bit of a letdown, had a pretty major issue on the MR2, but today is a new day and we actually have some pretty exciting news and you guys can probably tell what's going on from the title of this video. Uh, today's video is about trucks, so not about turbo Hondas, K-Swap, Subarus, none of that. We're talking about diesel trucks today. Um, so I've had this Duramax for quite some time now. I've never done a full video on it. This is the truck we've been using to tow our cars to the track. Uh, we went to Florida and back with this truck. We went to Texas several times with this truck and uh, never had an issue with this thing. And I did wanna give a quick story of how we got this truck and stuff because I know when we first did pick it up, you guys were asking about it and I never really addressed uh, the truck. I just really wasn't too happy with the deal to be honest, which I'll get into. I messed up really bad. But uh, yeah, so to start off with, this whole thing came up with uh, Cletus originally wanting to sell his trailer to me. He offered his trailer, his old one, for a really good price and I couldn't turn it down so we had to find a way to get his trailer uh, from Florida to Colorado and we were going down there for a Cletus and Cars anyways so we figured we might like rent a truck, drive down there, pick up the trailer and come back and then we were also thinking well we want to bring my hatch so how are we going to get my hatch down there? Maybe we can trailer the hatch on a U-Haul with someone else's truck and then uh, use someone else's truck to put, uh, tow it back and I was already starting to look for a truck at the time so then I was also thinking well maybe I'll just drive a buy a truck uh, before that happens trailer my hatch down on a U-Haul swap it out like so many different options and then it just came down to you know what we'll just drive the hatch all the way to Florida because that would be sick and then while we're in Florida we'll try to buy a truck out there and then get the trailer from Cletus and then bring it all back is one deal so that's kind of what we did so i started looking for a truck in florida and i just found a couple on marketplace and then we ended up driving the hatch to florida we went and looked at a couple trucks and at first glance i was really happy with this truck it was a very rash decision as well like i had to get a truck quick because we didn't have much time and we looked at it at night everything seemed good we drove it around and it was a decent deal so i was like you know what i'll take it but the main issue i had with this truck is I just feel so dumb for not even noticing, but we're in Colorado and I need a four-wheel drive truck and this truck is two-wheel drive and the guy had it listed on there as a four-wheel drive and I didn't even bother to check. I don't know much about these trucks at all and literally after I bought it, I was driving down the road and I realized all the four-wheel drive stuff isn't even there and I just didn't take enough time to look over the truck and that really like ups like I put me in a really bad mood because I that was the main thing I needed was for it to be four-wheel drive and I didn't even check for that. so. That was definitely my fault. But uh, to be fair, the truck has been really reliable. It's never left us stranded. I've only had a couple little issues with it, but it's been a trooper. I've been driving it every day pretty much since. But ever since we got back, I've been looking for another four wheel drive truck. I've just had this one uh, this whole time and I was hoping to get something newer. I didn't want to get the same year. I was just going to try to upgrade and get a little bit of a nicer truck and uh, i think the time has come well it has come you guys saw the title um we actually went to a couple dealerships been looking around and we did end up picking up another truck which you guys will get to see uh here in a second but i mean i really wish we filmed some of the adventures that we did with this thing because like these guys know like <laughs> dude it was a trooper storm one time without heat Remember that? yeah like the the blower motor doesn't work we had no heaters and then we almost how ran it how about getting to the gas station and it ran out of gas oh. in a at blizzard the, at the pump yeah we I literally out, I ran it out the needle the was pump. on e out in the middle of nowhere and as we get to the pump it dies and then being a diesel we had to like pump the little thing to get it to start back <laughs> I up forgot about that. dude if it, if it died like a mile out we would have been screwed yeah. no service Super out in a blizzard. storm with no heater we were already free. like we could have died like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, but I mean, dude, she made it. This thing's been a trooper, and uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna fix it up and honestly just get rid of this thing. It's been great for what we've needed it for, but you know, we're upgrading to a new truck, so I won't need this one anymore. And honestly, if it was four-wheel drive, I probably would have just kept this one and fixed it up, but uh, that's not the case. So we are getting rid of the Duramax, and we are upgrade into a new truck that is pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, we're actually getting ready to head to Texas next week for Cletus and Cars. So we're gonna be bringing this new truck down with us to tow everything. And that's another reason why I kinda wanted to get a truck 
now is because I don't really trust. I mean, I think our bad, our like good luck might be running out with this thing. Like, <laughs> like we can only get lucky for so long, and I don't want to keep taking really long road trips with it and have it break down on us. So, yeah, I guess so let's go take a look at the new truck. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is. There it is. So. This is this is our new tow rig right here. We got ourselves a Cummins. This is a 2012 Mega, Mega Cab. I'm just seeing it too with you guys. This is awesome. Yeah, check it out, dude. Oh, yeah. See how it gets in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how you get in them? Uh, dude, honestly, like, I don't even know where to start on this thing, but it's it's nice, dude. This is <laughs> this is too nice for us. This but it's really gotta nice. have one problem, and we'll figure it out later. There's probably something's gonna the happen. Battery's later gotta on. be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it has but, two batteries, yeah. so we're yeah. yeah we, we got a backup, <laughs> two batteries, bro. But yeah, this is our 2012 Cummins. It's a mega cab, uh, short bed. This is the Laramie edition. You know, we were looking at a couple others, and it was just a little bit more to get this one. I was like, you know what. We're gonna ball out a little bit and get the nicer truck. It is used. It has about 170,000 miles on it, so it's definitely not brand new, but it's in really good shape for what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Has an awesome sound system, full leather interior, and she's a beast. And it does have a aftermarket exhaust on it. it has like a five or six inch. And then I actually had Wyatt come uh, look over it. I had him plug his scanner in just to kind of help me go over the truck. And yeah. It is missing one lug. It, it is, is Kyle's truck. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I had Wyatt come check it out and he gave me the green light on it, said he didn't see any obvious issues with this thing. And like I said, it has the exhaust and it does have a tuner. It rolls a little bit of coal, but that's not what I got it for. Just got her to tow. And I think she's gonna do awesome. So interior though, man. Yeah, dude, it's freaking sweet. <laughs> Super clean on the inside. So nice. Got the Alpine system in it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, got Travel that mega style. cab. Back yeah, you got can sleep in the back. You're gonna drive this one now, I mean, Oh yeah, yeah. He was all embarrassed the, uh, to drive the last one. You want to be seen in it? it the heated screwdriver. Oh no, that's Emilio. <laughs> we were taking the plates off. Hey, don't take my screwdriver. <laughs> Has the heated and cooled seats. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, and in the rear, dude. They have the heated in the rear. Yeah, yeah he rear heated seats. <laughs> Now you're, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your dingleberries could get some air. <laughs> this is nice, man. Yeah, the best part is that it has AC and a working blower motor. <laughs> yeah. But, What's that like? Yeah. <laughs> no one understands. We used my jumper leads from. Bro, they're still in the truck. We literally had to run a wire from the battery <laughs> yeah, to, to the, blower the blower motor <laughs> so we wouldn't freeze. So we could have heat. <laughs> oh, and then the heater like didn't even work that good because there's no coolant in the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we roll. Rolling style now. Just the memories of it. Hey, Kyle. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Official Dodge owner right here. It does have a slight lift kit on it as well. It's a really small one, though, but it definitely brings her up a good amount. Pretty sure the spacer right there is part of that lift. Yeah. And it is obviously a four-wheel drive. It's I did check this time. <laughs> So that's the main it, thing is that we need a four-wheel drive. It was a thunderstorm in the middle of the night in Florida, like. Oh yeah, when we got that yeah. other truck. Yeah. yeah. Didn't use my best judgment getting it. And it's like, we really needed it. We didn't have much time. It's not like we could go the next day yeah, to look we, at it. We had an event to go to the next we day. We were on a mission that night because we just rolled into Florida. In the hatch. In the hatch, thunderstorm, race to the bank, Hydroplaning like crazy, no wipers. Yep. Through this whole thing. Intoxicated. Because no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The fumes. Uh, no. The no, exhaust the fumes. fumes. Were already cleared out by then. Okay. <laughs> we were pretty good. The They're rain actually no. helped a lot. Yeah, we get to the guy's place and it was just, it was just a quick thing. Yeah, I literally. Just, the guy was really, he was cool at when first. You the truck? Yeah. 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 So. Well, you picked me up from the airport with it. I remember that because I landed in. It was Houston. No, it was in. Ta well, we were like Tampa, five sorry. miles down the road and we realized it wasn't four wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. And they I was were like, gone. shit. But yeah, and then I had to drive that and then Brent just kept driving my hatch. And yeah. That's where it went. For anyone wondering, that was a 04 Duramax, just completely stock, but rear wheel drive. I mean, it's still a good truck. It has a couple issues right now that I need so to address. Leave but us hanging. That's yeah. for sure. It's still a good truck. I mean, yeah, I drove it, compounded. I drive it every day. Yeah. 
I'll probably end up buying it. Yeah, no, I told Brent. <laughs> I, I was going to give it to Brent for a good deal. I just told him. And he's like, I'm down. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, dude, honestly, I think the sketchiest part was when we were coming home through maybe Texas or just getting into Colorado, like on I-70 when the roads were all snowy and icy. Oh. oh, and the yeah. whole thing was just oh, man. fish okay. tailing. That was Dude, I thought pass. we were going to die. Ratone I thought we were going off a cliff. Climbing the hill yeah, Kyle with the tra was enclosed at trailer. The of his seat. <laughs> and I'm like, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Two wheel drive through a storm. Which, All stuff yeah, we should have. Like 15 miles an hour. <laughs> All stuff we should have like filmed, <laughs> but. Yeah. That was sketchy, bro. I'm not going to lie. I had both my hands like holding on to something. I had no oh, time yeah. to film nothing. But after we went through that, we were like, we can go through anything with this truck. Hell no. I was like, we're never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> Brent's like, should we stop at a hotel? And I was like, I don't know. And then like half an hour later, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, bro, we should, we're gonna die. <laughs> we at the hotel. Slow down, Brent. Slow down, Brent. It's all I heard. It, it was, was like, bad. We got this. that was a bad story. Oh, yeah. it was horrible. But we made it. Yeah, we did. We're still here. So we dropped you off yep. at like seven in the morning. <laughs> And that, that's when you had to go back. Yeah, we got to the shop at 8. Oh my, yeah. That and was then I had to turn around and go rescue Jamie. Rescue Jamie. To get the dyno. Okay. Yeah, the all-wheel drive dyno. dyno. We yep. drove it all the way back to... No one realizes how much crap we go through. <laughs> like, yeah. We get the worst luck sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's an experience. It's living. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got the memories. <laughs> hey, but, but we're chilling. We got a new truck. I'm happy we got AC. Yeah. <laughs> that last trip to Florida, man. <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> Lost some weight. Does it have a remote start? Hit it twice. It's a Chrysler thing. <laughs> oh! There it is. It has a remote start. Yeah. It's a oh! I didn't even know it had that, dude. Hey, it's got four wheel drive, too. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> love the truck even more now? Yeah, look, just twice. Did I didn't even know that. Dude, this thing's sick. But guys, that is our new truck. Uh, I really don't have too much more to say about it right now. Uh, if you guys are wondering if I plan on like modding it or anything later, I'm probably not gonna mess with it. Uh, the only plans I had for it were maybe just some aftermarket wheels and tires, and then possibly adding the little side step piece right here because it's kind of hard to climb into and it doesn't have it. But other than that, I'm just gonna leave it how it is and this is gonna be our new tow rig and uh, we'll see how she does. I mean, I'm sure a lot of diesel guys watch our channel. I personally don't know much about them. Uh, this is like something that's like in Wyatt's territory, but I really do like the look of the uh, newer Dodges, and this is just something I really wanted. So, really happy with it so far. Drives good, and it's definitely an upgrade from the last truck I had. So, uh, that is that. We're actually getting ready to load up the Prelude right now, uh, and I'm going to be taking everything home because uh, we have an event tomorrow at Bandemir, and I'm going to be racing the Prelude. So, we're going to get ready tonight for that, and. Uh, this will be the first time towing a trailer with the new truck. Dang! And it has the backup camera. We can just line it right up to the trailer. Dude, that is so much nicer. <laughs> Look. Look yeah. Getting out like three times and trying to do it. Look at that. Oh, Look, there's Emilio. Yeah. <laughs> he looks big on camera. <laughs> He's adjusting our hitch right now. Mm -hmm. oh, look mm -hmm. at him. Look at those arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so much nicer to have though. Oh yeah. Like for sure. Mm -hmm. So nice. Cause dude, sometimes I have to come and load it. Like when I'm just by myself and I like stop, get out. Yep. Stop, get out. But now we're just, we're good. Well yeah, put her in tow mode. Tow mode. We're hooked up. I'll tell you what. Dang, they so laugh. We're those guys now. <laughs> <laughs> Put her in park, see how it's doing. You good? Oh, perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Got the trailer hooked up to our new truck. And this is also awesome. They have the uh, built in trailer brakes right here so you can adjust everything as you need. So. We're ready to roll. Got to jump in it. <laughs> Way more room back there, huh? Mm. No, there is, man. And hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> dang. That's the spot to it's be so at. It's so much room, dude. Yeah. Cause look, he's already leaned back. Yeah, I'm already back. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Just fine. start inching down a little bit. That's <laughs> how you know it. I'm just sleeping.
right, we just got the prelude loaded up into the trailer attached to the new truck. Uh, we are going to be at Bandamere tomorrow for an event that Brent is throwing with PFI. Uh, so if you guys are local or in the area, be sure to come on by. We're going to be running the prelude, obviously. And uh, yeah, we'll be out there. And I'll be heading home pretty soon and see how this thing pulls her back. But it's looks good sweet. With the trailer now. Yeah, and then I also did get a thumbnail with the prelude right here. Looks good. It kind of gives you a scale for like how big the truck actually is by the car. And now the truck kind of fits the trailer. It looks more, more natural like that. Yeah, that other one looked way smaller pulling that big trailer. Yeah, no, it looks good. I'm really happy with it. Fong just rolled up because got a yeah, surprise for him. Got a good surprise for Fong. Good surprise. He doesn't know what it is yet. You over here, Fong? We just told him to drive up here. He was kind of sad he couldn't race tomorrow, so. We just told him to drive up here. We had a present. Hello, hello. Hello. What's up, man? What's we're, up? We're super bummed that you can't race tomorrow. Because you have no, no, no parts. No what? No axle. It sucks. Well, you know, we've got these fancy boxes right here that an, an anonymous donor sent. What? Somebody's box? This is for you. These this are axles. You. Really? It was an anonymous donor sent axles to you. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who is well, it? Stage there. five. It's an anonymous donor. We don't even know. Wait, do you guys actually not know? We don't know. Someone yeah, just sent them? It's an anonymous just sent them. Yep. Somebody just buy me an axle? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. And they're good. They're and that's the, the DSS. They're the five nines. Yeah, they're, they're the, the five best nines. ones. Yeah. They're not the little ones. They're the five nines. Damn. Well, go ahead and open them up. You got a knife? You got a knife. Juan got a knife in his pocket. Okay. Oh, he had a knife already. <laughs> he can get into anything. Get it. Oh, get it. Packaged them well. Get it. Yeah, even the pack is tough. <laughs> yeah, if you can't break the pack, you can't break the axle. <laughs> this, this is the hop. You got some yeah, stickers here. Hubs and the studs. This is all big boy stuff. Dang. Now for the big box. Yeah, this is the real thing right here. He's all excited. Woo! Woo. Get it, dude. Here. I got this side. Oh, he's in. He's he in. he he's got right. it. <laughs> I'm pulling. You screwed around for a minute too long. <laughs> <laughs> I got Ready? to it. Come on, old man. Oh, shooting star meme again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at this. It's all yours, dude. Look at the size of these things. Those, the, those are like the same ones on my hat. Dude, those the hatch? Are, yeah, same ones as the hatch. You ain't breaking those. Those are the five nines? Damn. No way I can break these, huh? Good fan of yours bought that. That's crazy. That's actually Pretty insane. Awesome. It's great, man. Yeah, you're racing. Oh. You're back racing again. You've been you're down too long. up all night. Put this thing together. Yeah, I got 10 hours to get my car done. Is the transmission <laughs> together? Uh, not yet. No? <laughs> he was like, I don't have axles. I'm not even going to put the tranny together. Yeah, I, he asked you. Yeah, I don't have, I, I have no idea. And then until this happened, I don't know what to say. Yeah, man. you got all 30 stickers. Yeah. Whoever it is come up to pay is this not cheap axle. It's a $2,000 axle. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, this DSS is not cheap stuff. At the last moment, somebody come up and pay. I don't know him. Yeah. I don't even know him, but whoever it is, thank you so much. <laughs> you know, and then my success this will be your success. That's you it. Know? So my goal is your goal. So thank you. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. You almost made me cry. I know, that was a, that was a speech. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, man. Not ready. Did you see a couple of new trucks? Yeah, I saw that. I reckon I had a trailer, but this truck is new. Somebody yep. pay you for that? Somebody buy you a truck? No, <laughs> I had to pay for that. Some, some people you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, though. That's awesome, man. Got some new axles for the yeah. CRX. All right, guys, wrapping up this video for tonight. I'm actually at a buddy's house right now, but the truck did awesome. Pulling the trailer, no problem at all. And I'm really happy with this thing so far. Uh, I wanna give a huge shout out to you guys because without you guys watching, none of this would be possible. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and once again, we are going to be at Bandamere tomorrow for uh, the event Brent is throwing. Uh, I have the Prelude loaded up right now and it is ready to go. And we'll see how she does tomorrow. 
Uh, next week we will be getting it ready for Texas, which is going to be Cletus and Cars, so we're going to be going out to that as well. And uh, hopefully the new truck treats us well, because I'm going to be taking it out there. And yeah, hopefully we don't have any issues with this thing. I'm really enjoying it so far, definitely a huge upgrade. So also want to give a huge shout out to whoever got following those axles for his CRX. That was so nice and just cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are so awesome and hopefully he can get his ready for tomorrow as well because uh, last time Fong was racing his all-motor CRX he uh, did snap an axle and that set him back quite a bit and he didn't even think he was going to be able to you know race this weekend so that is awesome. Those came in just in time for him and uh, yeah that's about it for tonight guys. Be sure to let me know if you guys want to see anything else about the truck. I mean I just see it as a tow rig. I know some of you diesel guys are going to be like, oh, you should have got that. You should have got this. But I really like these things, and I think it's going to do awesome. But if you guys do want some more content on it, sorry, this thing's kind of blurry right now. If you guys do want to see more about it, just let me know. But uh, for right now, it's going to be it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.